WNEM TV 5 News Update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Hannah Jewell. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Community members and MSU alum plan to come together to support those impacted by the mass shooting on campus, calling the event Spartan Sunday. Organizers are asking volunteers to bring trash bags to clean up the campus and also to put a positive posters on the buildings. You can bring flowers, snacks, candy, cards, anything you want really. If you would like to help, supporters will gather on campus starting at 11 a.m. TV5 spoke to Charles Fales, a doctoral student at Central Michigan University, about his research on the human ego and its impact on our health. He found narcissism and manipulative behaviors can have just as much of an impact on our stress levels as a person who is kind and agreeable. The goal of this study to better help organizations help vulnerable people, especially in the workplace. More evidence of benefits that sometimes taking it easy can be the best for your health of your brain and body. It's that time of year again. This Tuesday is Punchki Day. And one mid-Michigan business is busy preparing for its annual celebration. Kreziak's House of Bay City kicks off its Punchki Day celebration at 5 a.m. Tuesday with a polka band, breakfast specials, and of course, plenty of Punchki. A portion of proceeds will go to the Salvation Army Food Pantry. Now here's Kyle Gillette with a look at your forecast. Kyle. Thank you, Anna. We're tracking a few showers that have been moving throughout mid-Michigan earlier this morning, but we're not seeing too much in the wave impacts from that. Just some uh, lighter sprinkles and maybe even a few flurries moving through. Most of those have been north of the bay. As we transition through the rest of the today, we'll be seeing much better conditions. Here's a look at US 10 right now. Uh, no real issues out there on the concrete. We're seeing continued melting snow with those temperatures uh, still sitting above normal for us. Even this morning, we're looking at most of us in those mid to upper 30s out there. A few lower 30s continuing across the north with a look at your planner for the next 12 hours. We've got temperatures into the mid 40s by this afternoon and we'll be in the mix between the clouds and sun at times. So a little bit of back and forth there for us cooling down as we head into the evening hours on the hour by hour. As you can see, cloudy skies are remaining, but again, a few slivers of sunshine at times. We'll have those temperatures getting back up into the mid 40s, even the upper 40s across the far south. Now, as we transition into the overnight hours, note that winds do shift a little bit out of the northwest and that'll bring a few uh, snow showers from Lake Michigan down into our northern counties, folks north of the bay. And uh, that also filters in some cooler air as we go into your Monday morning. So we do start out in the upper 20s and low 30s across the far north. We could be looking at the low to mid 20s. So a cooler start, but still around where we're supposed to be for this time of year. As we go into the rest of your Monday during the afternoon hours, we will be again in and out of the clouds and sun for us with temperatures getting up into the mid to upper 30s. South of the bay will be in those low to mid 30s north of the bay. And then as we transition into your Monday night, especially more so in Tuesday morning, we will be looking at a few uh, areas of potential rain, snow, mix showers moving through that will continue throughout portions of your Tuesday morning before we start to look at our next chances coming up uh, in the forecast as we transition into your Wednesday and Thursday. Here's a look at that now in the extended hour by hour. A bit of a mess is uh, possible for us. We've got uh, the blues in there, the pinks and some greens moving across the lower peninsula. Uh, that means that we do have the chance for a pretty messy winter system moving through that could lead to some impacts and here's a, the best look uh, that we have right now. Heavy rain should stay off to the south with heavy snow across the UP and northern portions of the lower peninsula during uh, the as we get into Wednesday night, especially in Thursday, it looks like uh, we could st start off as snow and then eventually transition into a heavy mix between potentially snow, sleet and freezing rain across the rest of the lower peninsula, including mid Michigan, keeping a close eye on that. Otherwise, the seven day forecast does remain busy outside of Wednesday and Thursday. Again, we're talking about the chance for some of those showers on Tuesday and then a few snow showers for Friday and then snow showers returning as we go into Saturday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.